once again welcome back to my vlog as you can see i am in tokyo japan i literally had a red eye flight and i'm just so glad that i actually was able to pull this off and i think there's just so much to see and explore so i was having such a fun time i also have a bunch of photos that i want to show you here um so before entering this like temple area they have like a little shopping street and <laughs> i saw the cutest thing ever like, there were a bunch of like elementary school kids they were like shopping on their own like so cute like i think like five of them like they're like gathering this particular store i think they sell some rice crackers or some sort of snack and um so the shop owner was a elderly man and, and i think the kid was negotiating too so i don't know i was seeing a f like i was seeing from afar so that was my like interpretation but that is so funny and cute at the same time and i want to share like my breakfast story because um initially i've planned like, a cafe that is by the the river that i wanted to go but i didn't i didn't expect that it would be like snowing or raining so it won't be ideal to like sit outside so um <laughs> I ended up just like getting a quick little meal from the convenience store because like I literally my I'm telling you my my legs were like like ice lolly. So I'm like I can't continue my journey if I don't get warmer, if I don't preserve my energy and get something to eat cuz after all I did not sleep. So, this always leads to a good thing, you know? Um, and then I was, st st I stumbled upon the miso soup. So, I had soup for breakfast. It was like just perfect for me because I wasn't really feeling like any, t any other food. But guess what? I, I picked the clams one and they're like, they're so tiny. Like, it's so cute. They have it in a convenience store. So lucky, like, I love their convenience stores. Like, convenience stores in Japan is... Oh. Back to the clips that I have taken of this beautiful place. I was on the way to this matcha store that sells the strongest matcha ice cream in the world. Yeah, the strongest. I'm so happy that I made it here, but I was also thinking to myself, is it a good idea to have ice cream in such icy condition? Also having caffeine when I'm like so sleep deprived. Plus having ice cream so early in the morning. But I guess it's fine because like look at all the people in the store and oh my god, the good stuff. And that took me a little longer than I expected. And that's okay. I wasn't talking about the queue, but the actual store because earlier I went to their old address. There's also a little bit of a wait here, so I use this time to check out all the products. And voila, we are here. Look at them. They're so gorgeous. And look at that green. You know this stuff is strong when it's this dark in color. Literally, forget about all the consequences. I'm getting the strongest one and a not so strong one to compare the color this is so yummy and the good thing about having ice cream in the cold is that it won't melt as fast no but seriously as i'm doing this voice over it just <gasps> makes me want one right now it's so yummy and rich and mm. at this point i was just so exhausted 
I try to take a nap whenever I can. I was on the way for a sushi lunch in Omotesando. After that, I had to catch a train to the airport, made it to the souvenir store, to the gate, boarded the plane, and the food was so good.